I'd like to share one of my personal art projects with you. This is how I made my fantasy octopus drawer pulls. The process began when I purchased an ornate desk at a local thrift store that was missing its handles. I started out with a sketch, and I can play this back as a video, and you can see my design process being animated here. Things change and evolve as I progress. I made them out of Super Sculpey, which is a plastic compound that you can buy at most hobby stores. It takes a little bit of work to make it soft. Basically, I'm rolling clay snakes. Since it's an octopus tentacle, it needs to be tapered from one end to the other. And here I am tapering it. And then I kind of bunch it up and form it onto a wire frame that will give it some strength. When I was happy that the tentacles were placed properly, I baked them in my home oven to harden them. After I got them out, I knew there was a gap in the back that I filled in with some soft Sculpey, and then I baked them again to secure the tentacles onto the wire frame. Here I'm sculpting the basic shape for the heads. This will not be connected to the tentacles, it will be stuck on the face of the drawer itself. And this is all shown in time lapse to give you a quick look. Now I knew the front part of the handle had to fit in with the head, so while the clay was still soft, I squished it in so that the two pieces would key into each other. In order to match up the two head plates, I sculpted them side by side. I'm starting to put the details on here, and you can see all of the little rolled balls of clay being added. And you can see some of my detailing going on and how it progresses. I'm trying to focus on the character at this point. Again, I'm using some time lapse to give you a sped up glimpse of the process. I don't actually sculpt this fast. I used a nail set to push the tiny bumps in, along with the rolled up ball shapes. All of this gets kind of squished in and softened with a fingertip and a little bit of water. I'm matching up the head detail. You may have noticed these have been evolving as I go along. Details are being moved around and I've been creating a look that I'm finally pleased with. And they're ready for baking. Here you can see by the color that they got a little overbaked. The color after baking should be a little closer to pale flesh tone, but not a problem here since I'm going to paint over these anyway. I added rows of suction cups, just little balls of clay with a divot pushed into them to give a feeling of a suction cup. I added little bits of Sculpey to the baked tentacles to visually tie the shapes together. And these new additions are baked in. At this point, everything has been completely baked. Now I'm going to spray prime all the parts using a ruddy brown automobile primer. After that has dried, I finish it with a gold metallic spray paint. Once the front has set thoroughly, I flip them over and paint the backs of the handles. And now that that is all set, I can apply the brown glaze. This is actually a glaze that is used for gold leafing projects so I knew it would be the appropriate color for an antique gold finish, and I got this from my local hobby store. You can do the same thing with brown acrylic paint by thinning it to the appropriate consistency, to stick into the grooves, and to be able to wipe it back with a cloth. Here they are going onto my desk, and this is now my workbench, computer work, and sketching area. These are my finished fantasy octopus drawer pulls in place. And please share this around. I'm Mark Brian Wilson, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.